Section 1 Introduction Let's dive into the topic of autoregressive code generation models. These models have a limitation. They struggle to reconsider tokens that were generated earlier in the decoding process. This can lead to less diverse generations in the related domain of text. To strike a balance between diversity and quality of the generated candidates, previous studies have explored decoding strategies like grouped beam search or nucleus sampling. Recently, diffusion models, which have shown impressive performance in image generation, have been extended to generate diverse text. These models use an embedding layer to convert discrete tokens into continuous embeddings. They then add and predict Gaussian noise to mimic the diffusion process. To convert the denoised embeddings back into discrete text, these models select the vocabulary token with the closest embedding. However, in the code domain, where there are many syntactic and semantic constraints between tokens, projecting embeddings back to tokens independently can result in invalid programs. To address this, we propose a system that combines an encoder-decoder architecture with a diffusion process to convert natural language into code, NL to code. Our system works as follows. The encoder maps the natural language into a continuous representation, which the diffusion model uses as an additional condition for denoising random Gaussian noise input. To generate syntactically correct code, we feed the denoised embeddings to a decoder. This decoder uses full self-attention and cross-attention with the embedded utterance to obtain probability distributions over code tokens. We then select the token with the highest probability at each index. To prepare our system for code generation, we extend the continuous paragraph denoising, CPD, task to the code domain. Specifically, we only apply noise to tokens that correspond to identifiers in code or to built-in keywords in the target language. This denoising task allows the model to learn relations between critical code tokens like variable names, function names, and control flow built-ins. Our system produces more diverse code than auto-regressive models. It also produces 48.5% more syntactically correct generations when compared to Genie, a text diffusion model. We evaluated our system on NL to code for three different languages, Python, Bash, and conditional formatting rules in Microsoft Excel. Our results show that our system's top one results are comparable or better than much larger state-of-the-art systems. In top three and TOP5, our system performs better than all baselines. This work makes the following contributions. 1. We propose the first diffusion-based NL to code model. 2. We adapt continuous paragraph denoising, CPD, to code and show that it substantially improves the results of our system. 3. We compare our system to auto-regressive code models and text diffusion models on the NL to code task in three languages. NL to code is a popular and challenging sequence-to-sequence problem. Previous techniques for NL to code have used RNNs and semantic parsers. Attention-based models have been adapted for the code domain, and include encoder-only, encoder-decoder, and GPT-3, decoder-only, models. More recently, large-scale models like CodeGen and Transcoder have shown promising results. Instruction tuning has also been used to further improve performance with models like StarCoder and WizardCoder. These models can decode in an auto-regressive and non-auto-regressive fashion. Recent surveys have discussed these models in more detail. Diffusion models have been popularly applied to unsupervised and text-conditioned image generation tasks. More recently, similar approaches have been extended to work in discrete domains such as text. Our system's architecture is shown in figure. This section describes each component and our training and inference procedures. The input to our system is a natural language utterance and the output is a predicted code snippet. Both input and output are padded to a fixed dimension. Our system has three main components, an encoder, a denoiser, a decoder, and a classification head. The encoder transforms the tokenized utterance into a vector representation. Conditioned on the encoded utterance and the time, the denoiser predicts and removes noise from the noisy program embedding to obtain a predicted denoised program embedding. Before projecting the denoised embeddings back to discrete code tokens, we use a decoder to compute a final hidden representation. As opposed to prior text diffusion approaches, where tokens are generated independently, full self-attention allows each hidden dimension to be generated with full information about the other dimensions. Finally, the hidden representation is projected to actual code tokens with a classification head that computes a distribution over code tokens.
we do not perform a search over these tokens and select the token with the highest probability for each index. Section Summary We propose a natural language to code, NL to code, model called, system, that combines an encoder-decoder architecture with a diffusion process to generate diverse and syntactically correct code. By extending the continuous paragraph denoising, CPD, task to the code domain, we train the model to learn relations between critical code tokens. Our results show that system outperforms auto-regressive models and text diffusion models in terms of diversity and syntactic correctness across three different languages. Section 3.2 Training We'll now discuss the training process of our system, which is divided into two stages. Unsupervised pre-training of the denoiser and decoder using code snippets, and supervised fine-tuning of the encoder, denoiser, and decoder using pairs of utterances and code snippets. We use a special embedding layer to convert a code snippet into a continuous space where we can add or remove noise at each time step. We then calculate the loss at each time step, which consists of three parts. First, we aim to reduce the difference between the predicted noise and the actual noise to train the denoiser. Second, we aim to reduce the difference between the decoder's hidden representation and the embedded code to train the decoder and the embedding layer. Lastly, we apply a standard cross-entropy loss over the outputs of the classification head, which produces predicted code tokens given the decoder's hidden representation and the actual code snippet. To pre-train the denoiser and decoder, we use two tasks, unsupervised code generation and our adaptation of continuous paragraph denoising for code. This code-specific task only masks tokens associated with identifiers or built-in keywords from the target language. We randomly select from these two tasks during pre-training. During the inference stage, we start with Gaussian noise and gradually remove a certain proportion of the noise over a number of time steps to obtain the final predicted code. We then select the tokens up to the first padding token. We evaluate our system on natural language to code conversion for languages of varying complexity. Python, Bash, and conditional formatting rules in Microsoft Excel. The datasets we use consist of complex code snippets and associated natural language questions or descriptions. For our experiments, we use a pre-trained code encoder, a 10-layer block for the denoiser, six decoder layers, and a single fully connected layer for the classification head. We use a square root noise schedule with 1200 diffusion steps during the training and pre-training phase. We use the Atom W optimizer without weight decay and a learning rate of 0.0005. We compare our system with a combination of other models as baselines. Some of these models are used in an in-context learning setting with five examples dynamically selected using sentence BERT similarity of natural language utterance, while others are fine-tuned on our datasets. We evaluate our system using various metrics. For Bash, we use the template match metric. For Python, we use the score metric. And for Excel, we use execution match. To evaluate the diversity of the generated code, we measure the count of distinct token n-grams in the generated code divided by the number of tokens, summary statistics over pairwise similarities of encodings, and summary statistics over pairwise string edit distances. Section summary. The training of our system consists of two phases. Unsupervised pre-training of the denoiser and decoder on code snippets, and supervised fine-tuning of the encoder, denoiser, and decoder on, utterance, code snippet, pairs. The loss function used during training includes minimizing the error between predicted and actual noise, minimizing the error between the hidden representation and embedded code, and applying a standard cross-entropy loss for code prediction. During inference, we iteratively remove noise from the input and use the decoder to produce the final predicted code. We evaluate our system on Python, Bash, and conditional formatting tasks using various benchmarks and metrics. Section 5 Evaluation In this section, we'll be evaluating our system by asking three main questions. First, does our system generate accurate and varied code? Second, how do different design choices affect the system's performance? And third, how does the latent representation change during the diffusion steps? 5.1 Performance and Diversity Question 1 We've summarized the system's performance in a table, showing the top 1, TOP3, and top 5 results for our system and other baseline systems. In the top 1 category, our system performs as well as, if even better than, larger auto-regressive models. For Python, only GPT-3, 175B, 
performs better than our system, 75M. In the top 3 and TOP5 categories, our system outperforms all baseline systems. This aligns with previous observations that auto-regressive models with high top 1 performance often sacrifice diversity in their output. We've also included a table showing the diversity results, averaged across all benchmark tasks, for the TOP5 outputs of each model. Our system produces more diverse outputs compared to auto-regressive models. Other diffusion methods also improve for TOP3 and TOP5 relative to top 1, but they fall short of our system because they often generate syntactically invalid programs. We've included a table showing the percentage of syntactically valid outputs for our system and other diffusion models. Our system's outputs are more often syntactically valid compared to diffusion models not designed for code 3 3.8% more compared to diffusion LM and 26.2% more compared to Genie, averaged across all three languages. 5.2 Ablations, Question 2. We've included a table showing the results of our system with various modifications. Removing either pre-training task significantly reduces performance, by 10.9% for code generation and 4.6% for CPD, averaged across the three languages. The results when we replace D and H with grounding, choosing the closest vocabulary token at the last denoising step, or clamping, choosing the closest vocabulary token at each denoising step, highlight the benefit of using a decoder before rounding. 5.3 Gradual Refinement, Question 3 we've studied how our system gradually reaches the final result. For this experiment, we stopped the denoising at a certain time step, and generated a code snippet for the current state. We measured the normalized string edit distance at each time step, in increments of 100 steps. A figure shows that the edit distance decreases with time. The decrease is much faster for CF rules, as these are simpler to generate than full programs and bash commands. We've included a figure to visualize this, 